Hello, and welcome back to the episodes. We are going to learn more about Fabric. Hello, Tommy. How's it going? Hey, Mike. How you doing? Well, we are demoing things. We're learning things as we go. This demo, we're going to focus on how do you set up a trial Fabric around uh, a new user. So this is a new user. They don't have any information. They're just going to start with a new Fabric trial. One thing that is interesting here, and we'll probably uh, get into this a bit more in the series, is Alex Powers has made an, a new name uh, around a fabricator. So uh, we are the fabricator. So let's, you know, I guess we should have like a, a, a name like the Transformers, like let's fabricate or, you know, something like that. So let's, let's learn. Let's jump into this. We'll get started right away. Let me bring up my desktop here. So what you'll see right now is we're going to have a desktop application. This is just us sharing a private browser. And so we will start this demo today by going right into uh, PowerBI.com. So we already have a user created and we're going to land in PowerBI.com with that free user. So technically there's no license applied to this user currently. So to visit PowerBI.com, you would go to app.powerbi.com. That's where we're going to go. And then you hit enter and it'll take you right to the PowerBI.com environment. Now it'll ask you for a username and password. So we'll just log in with our Microsoft credentials here. Again, this is our user for Learn Fabric, learnfabric.powerbi tips. And this also works too, even for users with a premium per user or pro, right? This would, yeah, pro or premium per users could right. also visit this. However, those are licenses that are attached to the user as we were just learning yeah. earlier. Uh, and those are not attached to a fabric license, which is more of a capacity based element. And if I could remember my password that I just created like two seconds ago, we should be good. All right, let's sign in. It's going to take us into powerbay.com. It'll do your new little dance around the UI. Here are some new things we want you to show you. We're just going to say, okay. And this is it. You're now in powerbay.com. You can immediately tell if you are a free user or not by clicking on your icon in the upper right hand corner. By looking at the account type, you can see here we are a free account. And you, you, what you'll notice inside PowerBay.com is the free account is the same thing as a Fabric free account. So Microsoft Fabric free and Power BI free are now the same name. So when you look for this inside PowerBay.com or the administration of users, you'll see that value there. Next, you'll also know that you don't have any access to any workspaces. So if you click over here on the left hand side in the area called workspaces, you'll notice that there are none attached because you can't create a workspace. You're just a free user. All right, well, let's begin. So we're going to try to start with an activity around creating our first workspace. So I'm going to click on workspaces and I'm going to click on new workspace. Now, what will likely happen here is we don't have the ability to create our own workspaces, so it's probably going to push us into a trial, which is why we're going to start this one. So this will be our demo workspace where we will learn Fabric. And that is going to be our workspace here. I do recommend whenever you're building workspaces for your team, try to add some sort of description that'll help you understand what that means. So take some time, figure out why you're going to make this workspace. And for now, I'm just going to add in the words, enter a description. And there's also that domain preview, which we will cover in a future episode, but stay tuned. Under the advanced section, you'll see down here in the licensing, licensing modes, the way to create the workspace, it's automatically forcing us to try to create it with a pro user. So it's going to say, hey, you need to create a workspace. You need to be a pro license. So workspaces are tied to some sort of licensing, either at the user level or at the fabric level. You'll also notice here, there is a fabric capacity that's listed in here, but it's grayed out at this point. So I don't have the ability to manage or administer that fabric capacity. So I'll hit apply here, and it's probably gonna give me what I anticipated, our little warning message. By the way, you need to go get some sort of pro licensing there. So let's try for free. Cancel out of this. I'll go up to my username here. We're gonna hit start trial on the username in the upper right hand corner. This is the button we're gonna hit. When we click start trial, we will upgrade this to a Microsoft Fabric trial. Yes, please turn on all the things. Let's go with Fabric. And when we click start trial, it was then successfully up, able to upgrade this user or this user has access now to a Microsoft Fabric trial. And that's really important, Mike, the difference between a premium per user or pro and what you do here. A Fabric capacity is not tied to the user, but a user can create a fabric capacity. Yeah, this is a very big differentiator. It, it, there's two different licensing methods here, and then we're, we're now creating 
a dedicated capacity that is called that is using fabric. You'll notice right away we have 59 days left on our trial. You could also cancel the trial at any time over here on the right hand side. So now that this now that this user has the capability to have a fabric trial, now let's try to create our workspace. On the right hand side, on the left hand side, I click on workspaces. We click on new workspace down here at the very bottom. Our little button down here at the bottom. Now when we create this workspace, it will now let us enter the name here. So again, we'll use the same thing, demo, learn fabric. That's our, our workspace. Where we learn. And then now if I click the advanced options, you'll notice that I immediately become the owner or the contact list. I now have the trial option. Now this was something we didn't see before, but this is the trial for a free trial per user license around this workspace. This is everything inside Fabric. This is how we're going to create our Fabric here. We can also change this workspace after we've built this. So once the trial ends, or if we want to actually purchase our own subscription to Fabric, we'll be able to add that later on. I'm going to click on the word apply. And with that, it has now created our workspace. So now we have done our first initial step. You'll notice here where we have our workspace name. There's a little diamond in the upper right hand corner of the workspace, which that means we are on a premium capacity. There's a premium uh, portion of this applied to this workspace. And that's basically it. That's as simple as it is to be able to create our own workspace. Now, for those of you who are admins and want to spend a little bit more time, where does this trial show up? How do I see uh, from an administration standpoint, where does this trial begin? So what I'll pull up over here is another browser window with a different user. This is my tenant admin. And if I click on my name, actually, cl sorry, click on the gear up here, and then click on the admin portal, inside the administration portal inside PowerBI.com, you'll notice there is another option here on the left-hand side called capacity settings. The capacity settings is where you go to look at all the different capacities in your Power BI environment. So Power BI Premium, it would be the P1 SKU. Power BI Embedded embedded would be the A SKU from Azure or EM SKU. And then here we have trial. And you'll notice every user who gets a trial is now getting their own license. They're getting their own capacity by themselves. This is very important to note. Every user who's spinning up their own um, fabric trial is getting a capacity. And you'll also notice here the capacity units on the right hand side. So I have two trials running in my tenant and both of those capacities. Now it's not very clear here, but my, my willingness to bet here is this is an F64. So this is an F64 or the equivalent of a P1 SKU being spun up. For context, these SKUs, if you wanted to use them in their current capacity with their current form, this would require uh, $5,000 a month if you're running a P1, but in Fabric from Azure, it's around $8,000 a month, USD. So, Mike, if I'm an admin, I really want to restrict the ability for anyone to create a trial capacity. Where's probably the place that I could go? Great question. Yes. So, so no, this is important, people. <laughs> yes, if he's all, yeah. You, you bring up a great point, Tommy. Now that, we have, now that we know every user turning on Fabric is creating their own premium capacity somewhere in the tenant, we now need, would want to control this. Great question, Tommy. So let's go up here to the admin settings. A couple other items here around who can create items. The first item you need to be aware of is this setting under the Microsoft Fabric Preview option. Users can create Fabric's public preview. There's an option here. You need to enable this or disable it. And only the individuals that are able to create Fabric items are a part of this Power BI administration resource group. So it's important to note that you are allowing people to create Fabric workspaces with this security group. Another option that is also important here is users can try Microsoft Fabric paid features. This is the setting here that allows people to try a trial. So in my tenant, this setting is turned on, which means Users can show up to PowerBI.com and create their own Fabric trials. Doing so will create a premium or a, a premium Fabric capacity inside your environment. And you'll see those shown up in the admin portal. 
And if you're part of a medium or large size organization, this is going to be one of the first things that you're going to want to set as a security group. Correct. I would totally agree with that. Or just turn it off altogether, right? If you don't want anyone to have trials, I would recommend that too. You know, Wait start with no trials yeah. and as people educate and learn more about things, then you can slowly open that up to more people in the organization. Well, that's about it. That's all we had today. Um, we have now created our first workspace with Fabric attached to it. Thank you all very much, and we'll see you next time.